Welcome back to my channel everyone and welcome if you are new. Today's video is a much requested lunch and snack inspiration video and when I started to put together these kid lunch ideas that we use here in my house with my three kiddos, I thought what way can I help these parents out there in this crazy time that we live in? And not just parents, but adults, caretakers, people that are working from home. Lunch gets boring when you're home all the time. So hopefully you guys will not only get some great ideas for your kids, but there are three more adult lunch ideas as well. So you will get six lunch ideas today. You will also get three snack ideas towards the end of the video. Um, these are fun, delicious snacks that your kids will love. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's jump in. This first lunch idea is a spin on your regular ham and cheese sandwich. And I don't know about your kids, but my kids are not big fans of just regular sandwiches. So we're gonna make them fun, and my kids eat these every time. So these are just some ingredients I have on hand, and then this is the deli meat that I have, which is turkey breast and then smoked ham. And we're gonna use the ham for the kids and turkey for the adults. You want to start by making just a regular ham sandwich. Ham, cheese, a little bit more ham, stack it up. Now this, my kids would not eat. However, grab a mason jar lid or a large cup and cut out a circle. And we're gonna transform this into an animal sandwich. This is what my kids call them. And pat it down a little bit, save those crusts to the side, and we're gonna take some cucumber slices and using a teaspoon, we're going to punch out some little eyes. Now for this first sandwich, we're making this into an owl or a bird, and my son got such a kick out of this. So there's the base for your eyes. You're going to slice a blueberry or a grape or anything circular that you have in your fridge in half, and we're gonna use those for the other part of the eye. Now I have a slice of a nectarine here and I just use that for the beak and look how cute. So my kids will not eat a regular ham and cheese sandwich, but they finished this sandwich in no time. I served it with some fresh fruit and some poppable chips on the side and this was lunch on this day. The other tip I have for you is get your kids involved. If they are involved making what they're going to be eating, there is a much better chance of them trying it. So my daughter made a little piggy sandwich. She loved it. She had so much fun doing this. And that was her lunch. So a great idea to jazz up just a regular old sandwich. And for those of you wondering, my youngest 18 month old son is eating the same ingredients He's eating cheese, ham, cucumbers, and blueberries. Now for a more sophisticated lunch idea, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite spins on a turkey sandwich. I start with some multi-grain bread. This is one of my favorite kinds that we buy. It's by Sara Lee, it's 45 calories. It's really good. So that is gonna be the base of our sandwich. I have oven roasted turkey breast, thinly sliced cucumber, a couple pieces of romaine lettuce, a tablespoon of mayonnaise, salt and pepper, and then we're going to combine some sriracha for a little bit of heat, which is optional, and then a little bit of garlic powder. First up, you want to make your mayonnaise, and this is what really elevates this sandwich. To your mayonnaise, you're gonna add a very small amount of garlic powder. We're adding a dash of salt and pepper. And then I'm going to add a little bit of sriracha. You can add a lot if you like heat. I think this just adds a really good flavor or you can absolutely leave this part out. Just mix to combine and then we're gonna set this to the side and put together the rest of our sandwich. The rest of this is really easy. You want to start with your bread. 
and then we're going to put our mayonnaise on first just spread that evenly between the two slices and this mayonnaise adds a ton of flavor so if turkey sandwiches are not your favorite give this one a try I really like adding thinly sliced cucumber it gives a really nice crunch and then on the other side I put lettuce and then turkey you can substitute with whatever you have on hand, but this is a really refreshing and delicious sandwich. Perfect for a quick, easy lunch. For the next lunch idea, I'm gonna show you how we transform your regular old ramen. So you wanna start with the noodles of a ramen packet and any flavor works. This is a great use for leftovers. I'm using some chicken, a carrot, and some broccoli. And then for the different flavors, I'm using low sodium soy sauce, a hoisin sauce, and then a sriracha, which is a hot chili sauce, um, combined for the more adult version. The first step is to boil some water, and this is how I have made ramen for years. I have this hot shot, which I got back in college, and I love this thing. It is perfect for boiling water for ramen, for tea, for instant coffee or hot chocolate. So I'm boiling two cups of water. In the meantime, we're going to set our flavorings aside, and then we're going to break our noodle packet right into our bowl. So you see that seam on the back, flip it over and just pop it through and your noodles will pop right out. I'm discarding the flavor packet, but you can absolutely use that instead of the soy sauce or the hoisin and then just add the chicken and the vegetables um, with that. Totally personal preference. My water is ready, so I'm just putting it in a measuring cup to pour over my noodles and I let my noodles steep for five minutes. It's just how I like them. It leaves them a little bit al dente and they come out perfect. So I cover it with boiling water. I cover it with a plate to keep that steam locked inside and time it for five minutes. For your toppings. This is, like I said, a great use for leftovers or anything that you have hanging around in your refrigerator. So some of my kids' favorites are carrot and broccoli, and this is one of the ways that I got them to start eating these vegetables is with soup. So I like to use a vegetable peeler and I get really thin strips of carrot. I'm also cutting up a couple florets of broccoli. I like to cut them up pretty small. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna steam these in the microwave just for a couple minutes so that they're a little bit more tender. I also had a piece of chicken left over, so I'm just shredding that up and that's also gonna go into our ramen. I have talked about this meal as either a quick lunch or a really easy weeknight dinner several times on my Instagram and a bunch of you have tried it and you have loved it. So you can do all kinds of different variations. You can do chicken, pork, steak, whatever you have left over. And then veggies are completely up to what you like. You can use frozen veggies. You can use bell peppers. You can use jalapenos, whatever you have on hand. And this makes a really great, warm, and comforting meal. So like I said, I'm just putting my veggies in this little ramekin. I added a little bit of water and then put it in the microwave for four minutes. Once your veggies are steamed and they're slightly tender, those are ready to go on top of your soup. I have my chicken ready, so now it's time to unveil our noodles. You do want to break them up a little bit, and I like to drain off probably three quarters of the water just so that it's a more hearty soup, but if your kids like broth, then you can definitely leave more liquid. Now is the time when we get to flavor this. So the first ramen I'm gonna make is for my kids. And this is a more mild flavor profile. I'm using light soy sauce or low sodium soy sauce. And I like to use about two teaspoons. Now 
Once your noodles are all mixed up, you can add your veggies and your protein. Another great option that I do all the time is I add a hard boiled egg to mine. Um, and you guys know I love cilantro. That is one of my favorite combinations. So I'm just adding carrot strips. I'm going to add some broccoli and some chicken to this. My kids think this is such a fun lunch. And one of the reasons is the way they get to eat it. My kids love using chopsticks. We have regular chopsticks and then we have chopsticks meant for kids and they go crazy for it. I don't know what it is about not using a fork or a spoon, um, but they love it. So if your kids are into using chopsticks, give that one a try. The last thing I like to do is add about a half of a teaspoon of soy sauce right over the chicken. This was just baked chicken so there was no flavoring on it so here is the kids lunch and these are the kid chopsticks that we have these are actually from when i was a kid but you can find them in kitchen stores or on amazon um, they're pretty easy to find online now we're going to put together the second version of ramen and while my son really likes this i definitely think this is more of an adult flavor profile so same way you cook the noodles and we add two teaspoons of this hoisin sauce. And the hoisin sauce is a little bit thicker, so you might wanna leave a little bit more liquid with your noodles. Mix that around to combine really well. And just to make it easier on this day, I'm using the same vegetables. At this point, you might wanna mix in a little bit of sriracha for some heat, if that is something that you enjoy. On this particular day, I did not. And then just add the carrots and the broccoli. And again, to add some flavor, I added about half a teaspoon of soy sauce right on top of the chicken. And this is another great lunch idea that is super delicious and flavorful. And again, a great tip is if your kids are not huge veggie fans, believe me, there are days when my kids are like, nope, I'm not eating broccoli, I'm not eating carrots, I will eat chicken and noodles. Have them get involved, and chances are they will probably be more willing to give it a try. Even this little guy loves ramen. He loves ramen noodles. He actually loves broccoli and carrots. He's still on the fence with, but he really enjoyed this lunch as well. So this is another weekly lunch idea that is easy, healthy, and your kids will love it. Another great recommendation I have for you guys if you are looking to have a little bit of quiet time at lunch, we do this a couple times a week, um, is have your kids listen to bookflix.com. It's a website where they will read books to your kids. It's great, educational, and my kids love it. And time for our third lunch idea, which is super fast pita pizzas. These are great for when you're in a pinch. They're made with pitas. I love this brand by Sam's Choice. These are Greek style pitas. They're so soft and delicious. I'm using dried oregano, your favorite marinara sauce. I'm using turkey pepperoni because it's what I have on hand. A little bit of an orange bell pepper, which is optional. And then a blend of cheese. I'm using Colby and Monterey Jack. So this is the kids version and I'll show you how to put it together. You take your pita. You don't have to pre-bake it. You're gonna add a couple tablespoons of sauce. And this is one of those lunches that my kids can help make, but also if we're running low on time and I need to put together a lunch under 10 minutes, this is my go-to. Again, this is a great use for leftovers or just ingredients that you have in your refrigerator. I have turkey pepperoni. I'm using about six slices and I just like to dice it up to make it easier for my kids to eat. So I just cut them into strips and then into little cubes and that is all set to go. And my kids lately have really been enjoying sweet bell peppers is what they call them. But red and orange are their favorite and I am riding that until it dies. So I just cut up a few really tiny pieces and they both loved it. So I'm sure that next week they will hate peppers, but for this week, 
It's something they asked for, so I am throwing it on their pizza. First up, you just want to add a really thin layer of cheese. This is going to help stick your ingredients together while it cooks in the oven. I add a little sprinkle of oregano, and then you just add your pepperoni or whatever toppings that you're adding to your pizza. You can do just plain cheese. We do that all the time, and sometimes we change it up. We do ham and pineapple. We do leftovers. We've done taco pizza. So the sky's the limit. I add a little bit more cheese, and then I pop this on to a small sheet pan and pop it under the broiler for maybe four to five minutes. Then you just cut it up into triangles and lunch is ready. So this is one of my favorite go-to lunches, not only for my kids, but myself as well. So in a minute, I'm going to show you my favorite pizza as of late. I just served this with some fresh fruit on the side, and this was lunch put together in under 10 minutes. Okay, now it's time to show you one of my favorite pizzas. So I use these pitas. They're the Joseph's brand. They have flax, oat bran, and whole wheat. They're a little bit thinner and healthier. So that's what I like to use as my base. I have cilantro, some grape tomatoes, dried oregano, garlic salt, and then mozzarella and mild cheddar cheese. So for this one, since I'm not using a marinara sauce, I just put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and just spread that out. Next, we're going to add a thin layer of mozzarella cheese. And I'm going to slice up my tomatoes. So if I have grape tomatoes on hand, I use those. You can also use um, regular tomatoes, like on the vine tomatoes. Those are really good, and I've done that several times over the past couple weeks. So just put those on. We're going to add a little bit more mozzarella. And if you wanted to add pepperoni or chicken, now's the time to do it. And then I add a little bit of that mild cheddar on top, a little dried oregano, and then a little bit of garlic salt. We're going to pop this on the same sheet pan and pop this under the broiler for four to five minutes. Just keep a close eye on it. And this is what it looks like. It's crispy. It's so good. This has been one of my favorite lunches as of late. So I like to put cilantro on mine and then I just cut this up and serve it with some fruit on the side and that is my lunch. Again, made in under 10 minutes while my kids are munching on their pizzas. One of the best parts about this recipe is you can keep the pitas on hand in your freezer. So if you ever want to pull one out, you can thaw it really fast, throw together a pizza, and you have lunch. Now we're moving on to three easy snacks for your kids or yourself. First one is animal cracker dip. This is what we call this in my house. It could not be easier. You get either vanilla or chocolate animal crackers. You get some non-fat vanilla yogurt. You can also use plain yogurt depending upon what your kids like. And then this is the magic ingredient, colorful sprinkles. So I got this idea from those little snack cups that have crackers or animal crackers and they serve it with frosting. Those are probably not the best choice or my number one choice for my kids. So I love to substitute yogurt with some fun sprinkles and my kids love this just as much. And there you have it, animal cracker dip ready in under two minutes and your kids will love it. Okay, next up is one of my personal favorites, which is peanut butter chocolate chip bananas. You need a tablespoon of peanut butter, a teaspoon or so of mini chocolate chips. I like to use the semi-sweet kind and a banana. So you wanna pop your peanut butter in the microwave for about 15 to 20 seconds and let that melt. 
Then you just want to peel and slice your banana. You can take your peanut butter out, give it a little stir. As you can see, it's all melted. Pop your bananas onto a plate. Drizzle your melted peanut butter, and if your banana is slightly chilled, it kind of hardens, which is also really good. And then sprinkle some chocolate chips, and there you go. There is your peanut butter chocolate chip bananas. And last but not least, this is my caramel apple nachos snack that I make the kids all the time. They love this. I'm going to be using this Smucker's Sunday Syrup. It's sugar-free, but you can use whatever caramel syrup you have. Sprinkles, a little bit of mini semi-sweet chocolate chips, and of course an apple. So go ahead and slice your apple. And I like to slice them pretty thin. That's how my kids like these. They think it is so funny that these are called nachos. Then you just place your apple slices on a plate, get your caramel syrup and drizzle that right over top. I don't put very much. And then a few colorful sprinkles, a few mini chocolate chips, and my kids would probably tell you this is their number one favorite snack lately. We have so many apples in our house, so this is one they have been enjoying regularly. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and that it provided you with some great lunch and meal inspirations, as well as some snack ideas, because I know lunch and snacks get boring when you're home all the time. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I would love for you to join our YouTube community by hitting that red subscribe button. So hopefully we will see you in the next video.